parish church of St. Giles stands on its prominent town centre site and boasts another of the seven wonders of Wales. The church tower is well known as Wrexham Steeple. It's 41.5 metres or 136 feet tall and has been the dominant feature of the town skyline for over five centuries. The church itself and the churchyard are guarded by handsome gates made by the Davis brothers, who were skilled craftsmen from nearby Bersham. The church was described by Sir Gilbert Scott, the architect of Liverpool Anglican Cathedral, as one of the finest specimens of its kind. He additionally stated that no one should be allowed to alter it in any way. Documents indicate that the first church on those grounds was built in the 13th century. Unfortunately, it was destroyed by a storm in 1330. The second church was consumed by a fire in 1463. The current church, built in the late 15th century in a perpendicular style, is very impressive and the church tower, with its many outstanding features, is undoubtedly the most important part of it. The top of the tower is spiked with four different height turrets. The tower is comprised of five levels and each one is enriched with equally detailed carvings of human and animal statues. On the north side of the tower is the figure of Saint Giles with a deer, which according to legends was helping the saint to survive in the wilderness. On the west side of the tower, a stone can be seen with the following caption carved into it. This stone replaces one presented to Yale University, USA, 1918. The original stone was placed in the replica of a tower that was built on the campus of Yale University in the United States of America. The reason why the original stone from St. Giles Church Tower travelled half of the world is that the famous Yale University was mainly funded by Elihu Yale, who lived in Plas Grono, his family house, on the outskirts of Wrexham. Elihu Yale was born in America educated in London, lived in India and Africa, and still did not forget about his roots and his hometown. Closely connected to Wrexham, he proved to be a generous benefactor to Wrexham Parish Church, donating many gifts that we can see in the church even today. When Elihu realized that the money is needed to establish a university in America, his land of birth, he donated a large sum, which resulted in the university being named after him. Elihu Yale is buried in the churchyard to the west of the church tower. The beautifully carved statues are looking over the town in all the directions. But there is something else on the tower doing the same thing. Because of the height of the tower, it's the perfect spot for peregrine falcons to nest and hunt. They are extremely rare in Britain, and Wrexham is lucky enough to have a pair of them. Living first on the police HQ tower, and now on St Giles Church Spire. The two falcons, fittingly named Giles and Geraldine, are proudly occupying the highest parts of the tower. If a nearby admirer has binoculars at hand, they can be easily spotted and admired from around the church area. Some of the historians suspect that St Giles Church Tower might not be the original Wrexham steeple mentioned in the poem. Although St Giles Tower is undoubtedly a piece of art, the architecture structure 
is not really a steeple. And there are some references and records of another church located in Wrexham that sadly no longer exists, but perfectly fits the Wrexham steeple term. Debate will continue whether that could be the original Wrexham steeple. Even if it would prove to be true, and St Giles Church Tower is replacing the original steeple, it is doing so with glory and style, and visitors will be admiring the beauty of it for centuries to come.